What do you got, I buddy? Get to go first? Yeah, sure. You're because you're the sure. next one on the switcher. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, mine is actually it's called SaveFrom.net. Okay. Um, and what SaveFrom.net does is it, it lets you take pretty much any link that contains a video and it lets you download it locally right on your machine from anywhere from. YouTube.com, Daily Motion, uh, Vimeo, pretty much anything you want to take video off, a rip and rip it off of a website, um, they allow you to do that. I personally like this. Uh, Facebook, it'll allow you to rip Facebook video, um, Twitch, whatnot. I like this because, and I think we've talked about this before on the show, um, I'm not necessarily saying I want to steal a bunch of video. What mm -hmm. I do want to do is be able to take video with me on my train ride to work, watch it, and then delete it. Um, I hit probably two to th I hit two to three major stints where I don't have connectivity, um, and I am trying to watch more video than I am audio um, when I can. Um, and this allows me to do just that. Um, obviously, it can be used for nefarious purposes too. If you want to download massive amounts of video off of YouTube and then take it and do whatever you want with it, um, what I'm saying is, is this uh, this uh, to me allows an offline experience when when you may not have be able to be online. Um, the cool thing that I, I really liked about uh, SaveFrom.net is they also have a section for webmasters where they've created a button that you can customize and, and set um, color on. You can set the font on it, um, and then it generates a, a bunch of JavaScript um, for your button. And then you put that on your video, and it allows anyone to then download it. So if you wanted people to be able to take your video and download it, and you wanted to promote that offline experience, mm -hmm. um, this allows you to do that. So I thought this was a pretty cool little little website, little utility, another tool for the toolkit. Um, and, and I really, I, I actually use this quite often now. That's, it's it's going to be a, a tool for my toolkit because <laughs> uh, seriously, in my line of business, if, if we want video that someone else has shot, we have to figure out how to get it. Right. Right. Um, right. And now, man, if we get permission, we, we have this and we go. And that's that's pretty cool. Right. I have actually that's been be helpful. I've been using a um, a, a plugin for Firefox. It's just like a Flash Video mm -hmm. Download or something. But that this is, I like that you have that ability. Like I like this idea that I don't have to set up a whole other thing for people to download the shows. I can just use their the YouTube I'm already using for this. Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. I do wonder, does that count? <laughs> do I get a view at least? Right. Uh, to, 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 but still, I, I kind of just want people to 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 experience it. Right. Uh, right. First and foremost, if I'm getting stats or not. Uh, but yeah, if that that. I, I'm I'm earmarking this to maybe integrate into the site. Maybe we'll do well, the reason I too I, I like it as well versus having a plugin for your browser. Obviously, then it's browser. This is browser agnostic. It works pretty much on anything. Right. And I don't have to load someone's plugin to my browser that's sitting there doing something that I may not know it's doing or that it's running all the time or whatnot. So right. I've used programs like R Ari Ari. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, that's actually an app on your machine. Same thing. I, I, I'm not sure I want someone's application sitting there running all the time just so I can download a video occasionally. To me, this is a, a better, safer way to do it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that, I, I'm earmarking it for, for all kinds of stuff. Because, yeah, same thing, uh, uh, Mike. I, I'm, I'm grabbing footage. Sometimes it's easier for me just to like use that plugin to grab footage off of YouTube mm -hmm. of something mm -hmm. I did. To use somewhere else like uh yeah. i found myself uh, uh on the sawtooth willie he's been calling back the video so i'm putting a little corner hey check out this episode kind of thing and sure. i just i just completely steal it off of myself <laughs> instead of like going and finding the assets right uh, it, it works fine right so uh and even uh unsung when we did that kind of thing we would always have to throw you know pull a b-roll off of all the non-profits to put into the show so uh very very handy or if uh, you have a video site that doesn't have uh, Chromecast support, is what I've been using it for recently, right. and mm -hmm. and uh, I use vi the video stream uh, um, um, extension to bring that in. Awesome. So that's uh, is it en dot save from dot net or I guess that's just the English version. That's just the English version. When I when I went there, it's you can just type in save from dot net and it takes you to your your localized language. Awesome.